So during the ALGS Pro League, coaches were able to communicate with their team while the match was in progress. But is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? Find out more in this video, so like and sub, let's get into it. So during yesterday's ALGS Pro League matches, you might have seen some tweets about coaches influencing their players. Or you might have seen that tweet that Complexity Monsoon posted that says, Since when were coaches allowed to talk mid-game and influence their players' decisions? rotates and information. PvP is literally sitting there calling out edge teams and when rotates are bad mid pro league, who thought this was a good idea? So very confused. And for context, the guy he's referring to is PvPX, the coach for Cloud9. He got into some heated conversations with a bunch of people when a clip from his stream surfaced onto Twitter through the tweet that Monsoon posted and through a bunch of tweets that other pros posted. But the tweet from Monsoon linked a clip. Let's see that clip for more context. Fucking huge, bro. Yes, sir. DL's gonna be holding us probably on the right. Let's get it. That was Mouse Mambo. The only other edge team is Team Liquid. And they were popping they were ulting cells. I'm popping two ulting cells. Who's on the left, bro? Um, it could be DN like DNO is another edge team from east side of the map. I mean, we'll recognize DNO. That's, that's, that's a Valk team. Good shit, Mac. We can clean up. Team, team uh, I did 80 damage. <laughs> okay. We, we have to go to better. the right. We have to go to the right right now. So after seeing that clip, you could hear that PvPX was giving out information to the people he was coaching, that being Cloud9's Pro League roster. And the information he was giving out to the people he was coaching, in theory, could mean that he was watching other people's streams. And remember, it's not against the rules to see other people's streams because they should have a five minute delay if they want to stream the ALGS. And there was also memes that formed around the suspicion of PvPX stream sniping. PvPX himself even joked around by posting a tweet from a scene from The Matrix when Neo meets the architect. Hello, Neil. Who are you? I am the architect. I created the Matrix. But Cloud9 was not the only team that was being accused of having a coach influence them mid-game. G2, another team that I keep bringing up into my videos, were also accused of having their coach influence them mid-game. A tweet from Tech, a pro player for Furia, tweeted, No longer streaming ALGS tournaments since it's actually allowed to stream snipe and have coaches talk to you during game and feed you information from other teams like beacon information, which is useful even on a 5 minute delay. And he received a reply saying, but PvP wasn't allowed to go into other streams and neither did he, right? All he did was watch his team's POV and talk with them as the game went on. He had zero information from other squads, so how does that make sense or is there a big part I missed? Tech replied to him saying, he is allowed. G2's coach was feeding them beacon information from other streams. G2 doesn't run a beacon character, and by beacon character he means people that can scan beacons so you can know where the next circle is going to be. And once again, I have to bring this up to make it clear, stream sniping is allowed. I'm not sure why it's allowed, but the ALGS admins came to a conclusion that if there is a 5 minute delay, nobody could get stream sniped. So now coaches could speak to their players mid game and technically could go and watch other streams while that match is happening. But the only information that the coach could give them from the stream snipe is 5 minute delayed info. And people are comparing this to how teams have a coach during a LAN tournament. And the main difference between an online coach that is speaking to you during an online tournament and a LAN coach that can only speak to you when there is a break is for one, they can only speak to you during a break and two, you don't see the other team's coach going to the other team's booth and watching them play. And that's pretty much what an online coach could do whenever they stream snipe, but there is a 5 minute delay. In theory, a team could obtain useful information even if there is a delay on the streams. But honestly, I haven't seen a single pro player that states that this role of having a coach talking during the game is a good thing. The only reason why you see people using this method is because they could and is not against the rules. But what do you guys think about the situation? And the two teams I talked about in this video were G2 and Cloud9 because they were being speaked about the most. But I'm sure there is more teams that were getting backlash for having a coach talk to them mid-game. But yeah, that's it for this video. Like and sub. I'm out. Peace.